Lots of things in history are actually a mystery. The truth's not always in the books you read. Facts can get distorted or even misreported. Imagine if that was all down to me. Cliff White lie. It's Whiteley. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, your newspaper got it wrong, mate. Albert Einstein was a famous scientist. Frankenstein was the one with a monster. So print an apology. Warp! Cliff, I've got Florence Nightingale and... Sorry, what was your name again? Mary C. Cole. Mary C. Cole to see you. Thank you, Sue. Show them in, please. <laughs> Ladies, Cliff Whiteley telling it there it wasn't. Take a pew. Right. What seems to be the problemo? The problem is, all of the history books about the Crimean War only seem to mention one nurse. Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale. Well, I should hope so, too. We did a great deal of work here ensuring old Flo went down in history. What a catchphrase. The lady with the lamp. Whoop! You forget about me. No offence, love, but I ain't never heard of you. Me sold up me home in Jamaica and paid for me own ticket to the Crimea. And when me get there, me built me own hostel with me own money to provide care for the injured British soldiers. Wow. Yes, yes, but it was my military hospitals that dealt with all the really nasty injuries. Not just you. I'd actually go out and treat the injuries upon the battlefield. Well, I did pioneering work in cleanliness and hygiene. I worked in cholera and tropical medicine. Well, I invented the pie chart. You did really invent the pie chart? Yes, I did. Did not know that. All right, ladies, chill out. I say vu. Now, Mary, how come she's famous and I ain't never heard of you? When the war ended, one of us was still rich and influential and could go on to do great work, whilst the other was just a poor, penniless black woman. No, I mean, that is terrible. After everything you did, let's see if we can't get you a bit of publicity. What? Shut it, Lampy Knickers. Now, we'll get you a statue, obviously. Yeah, maybe get a university wing named after you. Oh, how would you feel about being featured in an historical sketch show for the BBC? It any good? It ain't bad. Whoop! Horrible history.